So today we wanted to talk about eye masks. Um, we found these, so we have a frog, um, a lovely little pig, and we thought it was a mouse, but maybe a koala, I'll let you guys be the judge. And then, randomly enough, one of our kids came in with a unicorn one on the back of her chair, so she let us borrow it for this video. So, the reason we have these fun masks is because when kids are working on, or when any of us are working on balance, there's different things that help us. And one is our vision, another is the position of our head, and so what our inner ears are telling us. And then, uh, I don't know about lastly, but another part is our joints and the position of our joints, and we get input sent back to our brain, so all that together tells us how to keep our balance and where we are in space and all of that fun stuff. Um, there are people and kids that rely a lot on their vision. So if they're in a busy environment or they're not able to see as well, their balance kind of falls apart. So they don't know how to listen to those other senses. So to make it fun, we have used masks like these. We let them pick what character they wanna be. We can make a whole story up about it. And we will do some different tasks with that. And it could be as simple as, you know, standing in the room and giving high fives or things like that. It could be rolling a ball, it could be walking down the hallway using um, somebody's voice as a guide. We've had kids walk on balance beams. You could go up and down stairs. So you just wanna see where they are at to see how complex you wanna make it. Um, but what is nice is they have to start listening to those other senses and take some of that vision reliance out so that their balance overall will improve.